Hi, it's Will from Sound on Sound here at the AES convention in Los Angeles on the DAD audio booth with Michael, who's going to show us a, a monitor controller, which is essentially the centerpiece to your studio. So, Michael, can you tell us a bit about um, this new product then and what different formats it can accommodate? Because it's quite a few, isn't it? Sure it is. The, we call it Promon 2, and it sits on the AX32 box. And the X32 has a lot of interfaces, analog interface, analog in, analog out, it's ACPU, MADI, it's uh, Dante, mm -hmm. and even uh, video embedding, de-embedding. So all these kind of formats can be accomplished in the box via I.O. cards. So every monitor channel, every channel in that stream, in any stream, is available in the system as sources. So it essentially treats all these different audio formats as uh, as the same thing, yes. you know, so that you can you, you don't have to think about what's being converted to what because it's taking care of everything. Yeah, it it presents everything as as single channels. It has a fixed latency, so nothing is kind of shifted related to each other. So it's uh, it's really just making all signals available. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, we have a very nice system that is a monitor controller called Promon, and now it's Promon Two, mm -hmm. where you take and define your sources from all this pool of inputs and this destination, the speakers, mm -hmm. from the outputs. And what sort of outputs can you accommodate then? It's, it's not just analog output, no. presumably. Very often, obviously, a set of speakers in a, ma in a, in a control room will be analog, but it could just as well be ASAPU based. Mm -hmm. So we have ASAPU output, so you just connect that to the speaker and make that your speaker output. We have a whole Dante uh, implementation, actually also AS67, so some of the new speakers from, for example, Genelec that supports mm -hmm. AS67 can be directly connected and used as for monitor control directly on the box. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so it's very versatile. It could be a MADI feed to something where you have maybe your own favorite D2A converter on MADI, mm -hmm. sourcing your, your speakers. Right, and you said it also uh, used Dante and Digilink as well, did you? Yeah, the Digilink on this box used to be there, but we have, we're very happy and proud that we have now an OEM agreement with, um, with Avid. Mm -hmm. So the version of this box is called the Matrix, mm -hmm. and that will have the Digilink. The okay. version we have here will in the future not have Digilink anymore. Mm -hmm. So this is the difference between the two boxes. But for non-Digilink related monitoring applications, uh, this is certainly still a very, very fantastic solution. OK, and do you have pricing then and shipping dates for this? Yeah, I mean, basically the box starts with a 8 channel D2A and a basic frame around 4,600 US dollars. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is actually already shipping. Mm -hmm. The software is released in the next two weeks. And then actually we have this little nice box here, which is a remote control for just the volume and some sources. Mm -hmm. And this has a price of uh, 625 euros. And that will ship in December. Okay, thanks very much. You're welcome.